Today on Rappler. The governor of Oriental Mindoro says the sunken empty Princess Empress oil tanker has been located. Transport groups kick off their week-long strike. Congressman Arni Tevez says his family does not benefit from the killing of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo. A hazing complaint is filed against a fraternity leader suspected to be behind the alleged hazing of John Matthew Salilig. Anne Curtis completes the 2023 Tokyo Marathon. Korean actor Yuwa In is replaced in Netflix's Hellbound amid police drug investigations. And Blackpink's Jisoo teases her solo debut. Oriental Mindoro Governor Bons Dolor reports the exact location of the sunken empty Princess Empress has been found, around 7.5 nautical miles from Balisangan Point, facing the town of Pola. Uh, ang concentration of efforts natin ngayon ay kung paano mapiprevent yung nasa dagat from reaching the shores. Owners of sunken ship Empty Princess Empress have hired two firms that helped in the cleanup of the 2006 Gimaras oil spill, considered the worst disaster of its kind in Philippine history. Meanwhile, the local government of Malay in Aklan province declares a state of heightened alert to preemptively implement protection measures. Boracay is still free from the oil spill, but the Philippine Coast Guard says there is a small possibility the oil spill may reach the world-famous beach depending on the wind drift. Transport groups kick off their week-long strike against the phase-out of jeepneys Monday, March 6. Manibela Chairperson Mar Valbuena earlier said around 40,000 public utility vehicles in Metro Manila alone would participate in the strike. The LTFRB says it is working to meet the demands of the transport sector by extending the consolidation deadline. The LTFRB has since extended the June 30 deadline for consolidation to December 31. But jeepney operators say what they need isn't a longer deadline, but instead, stronger financial support from the government to consolidate and upgrade their fleets. Different local government units and agencies across Metro Manila had more than 1,200 vehicles on standby to give free rides to stranded passengers. Meantime, in Cagayan de Oro, the strikes fizzle out as many of the drivers claim they were not informed of the strike. Negros Oriental 3rd District Representative Arnie Tevez speaks on the killing of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo and eight others to say their clan would not benefit from the politician's murder. Tevez on his Facebook page says he was not able to immediately issue a statement as he was abroad for a stem cell treatment. Ito ang matagal ko nang kinakatakot na mangyari. Expected ko na na Ako na naman ang pagbibintangan. Tevez expresses surprise at the swift solving of the De Gamo slay, referring to the arrest of at least three suspects. While he says no one had openly named him, Tevez says his quote, intel sources told him someone wanted to pin the killings on him. Pamplona Mayor Janice De Gamo, De Gamo's widow, says they had been told several times about threats against the late governor. Gunman fired at Degamo while he was distributing food packages at his home in Pamplona, Negros Oriental on Saturday, March 4. A hazing complaint is filed against the quote, master initiator in the alleged hazing of John Matthew Salilig, the Adamson University student whose remains were found in Imus Cavite. Daniel Perry, also known as Sting, faces two counts of the alleged violation of the Anti-Hazing Act of 2018. The complaint is filed by John Michael Salilig representing his deceased brother and Roy Osman de la Cruz, one of the victims in the alleged initiation rites. Binyan City Police say Perry was leading the initiation and he was present from the beginning until the victim's body was buried at the back of a subdivision in Cavite. The police note Perry surrendered and confessed how they had planned to deal with Salilig's death from who would handle the body to the burial of his remains. Salilig was laid to rest Saturday in a cemetery in Zamboanga City. Anne Curtis achieves another milestone as she successfully finishes the prestigious 2023 Tokyo Marathon. The actress host shares a photo of her posing with her medal, as well as a video of Filipinos cheering her on. One picture also shows Anne completed her run in 4 hours and 50 minutes, which she says is her personal record. Anne writes that, quote, every single kilometer was worth it, knowing she was running to help Filipino children. Anne has earlier said she partnered with UNICEF Philippines to raise funds for children who are victims of violence, abuse, and exploitation. She also updates that the donations have already, quote, gone beyond their target 
but encourages the public to keep donating, saying she will match the final amount. Anne was appointed as the celebrity advocate of UNICEF in April 2018. Korean actor Yoo Ah In has been dropped and recast for the upcoming second season of Netflix's Hellbound series amid an ongoing police investigation into his illegal drug use. The Korea Times reports Ah In was forced out of the fantasy thriller series where he starred as cult leader Jung Jin Soo in the first season. He will be replaced by Kim Sung Chol, who is known for Prison Playbook, Our Beloved Summer, and Do You Like Brahms. Based on a popular webtoon of the same name, Hellbound debuted on Netflix in November 2021. Ayn is currently embroiled in a high-profile drug scandal after testing positive for cocaine, ketamine, and marijuana. Hair and urine samples were submitted to the police's drug investigation unit after the actor was suspected of illegally taking propofol upon returning to South Korea from the United States. It's official, Blinks! We're now counting down the days before Jisoo of K-pop girl group BLACKPINK makes her highly anticipated solo debut. BLACKPINK shares the first teaser for Jisoo's solo project, confirming it is set for a March 31 release. Jisoo also shares the poster on her personal Instagram, captioning it with quote, See you soon in Korean. Additional details such as the project's title have yet to be released, but YG Entertainment earlier announced Jisoo had filmed the music video overseas. Jisoo will be the last member of BLACKPINK to have a solo debut. Jennie released her single Solo in November 2018, Rosé released the single album R in March 2021, and Lisa released the album La Lisa in September 2021. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.